Your Excellencies, as it relates to incitement to commit genocide, the prosecution submits that the accused, Mr. Jupiter, is guilty of incitement to commit genocide. The subject matter of the competition is international criminal law, which is an exciting area of the law for the students, but also an area of the law that needs uh, more uh, uh, focus uh, because it's fairly new and evolving. And so uh, when you get the combination of these very excited and uh, uh, intelligent students coming to grips with problems of this nature and becoming creative with solutions, uh, it sets a very good basis for uh, future uh, progress in international law. They, they take it very seriously, first of all. Uh, not so much by their knowledge, because of course when they are here they know what they have to do, but they take it very seriously. You see uh, uh, when, they, when they are uh, uh, discussing their arguments in front of you and uh, trying to answer the questions we uh, judges pose in order to, to put them a little bit in difficulty, if possible, and I think this is the, 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 the most uh, uh, the, the, the thing which impressed me most, that they are very, very serious and very, very enthusiastic in doing what they're doing. I think it's more or less um, beneficial for capacity building. International criminal justice is a new field in Africa, and uh, my experience has been that not many lawyers are willing actually to participate in it, simply because it's not uh, paying. But with this kind of uh, event, many lo young lawyers may take up their careers as international criminal lawyers. I think they've learned um, um, how to appear, let's say, in, a, in an international court, because we simulated ourselves to be the international criminal court. But they also learned the in principles relating to international criminal justice. For example, they've learned that um, children are not supposed to be conscripted. They've learned about genocide mainly, uh, what, are, what amounts to genocide, the acts that constitute genocide, and most importantly, they've learned about sexual slavery. Uh, the Commonwealth uh, Moot Court Competition in International Criminal Justice revolved around one character, uh, Mr. Jupiter. Uh, over the last few months, Mr. Jupiter has come alive, like a, he's no longer a fictitious person, but a real person to us. Uh, the case involves a prosecutor versus Mr. Jupiter, a colonel who has found a particular group uh, in a particular country, uh, financed the same group, uh, built up its military structure to declare themselves independent. And in the process of all doing all that, uh, Mr. Jupiter has amassed a lot of popularity amongst the locals. He incited the locals uh, to attack another, another group. And consequently, we are led to a situation where uh, one can infer genocide uh, w with respect to the incitement of uh, Mr. Jupiter of a particular kind of group, a situation which has been happening over and over again. Uh, in 1994 it happened in Rwanda uh, where the radios were used to incite people, the Hutus against the Tutis and, vi and vice versa. So the same similar situation we have found ourselves here today uh, in this Commonwealth mode. I haven't really had a chance to interact with international criminal law. So this was like my first experience and I think I've learned a lot. There's so much more to learn as well. So I think that's what I'll take back home with me. The issue of use of girls in uh, sexual slavery was very interesting, particularly given the gender dynamics of the whole you know, issue and all. But it was educative in a, a way that I could not imagine. There were so many things that I actually came to discover. And um, the issue of the active use of girls in hostilities too. I mean, I got to read a number of cases that I thought I would never read. Thomas Nubanga, AFRC, Charles Taylor. It was a really great learning experience. <laughs>